Stand, oh, you're standing. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, God of truth, in your name, in the name of your only begotten Son, in the name of your Holy Spirit, I place my hand upon your servant, who has been made worthy to flee unto your holy name and to be under the protection of your wings. Remove from her the former delusion. Fill her with faith, hope, and love that which are in you, that she may know that you are the only true God with your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and with your Holy Spirit. Enable her to obey all your commandments and to observe all those things which are pleasing to you, for it is in doing the will of God that man finds life. Inscribe her in your book of life, unite her to the flock of your inheritance, and may your name be glorified together with your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and your life-creating Holy Trinity. May your eyes, O God, ever regard her with mercy, and may your ears hear the voice of her prayer. May her, her, make her to rejoice in the works of her hands and all her generation, that she may glorify you, worshiping and praising your great and exalted name, and may she always sing praises to you all the days of her life. For every power in heaven sings praises to you, O God, and yours is the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord put your devil under banishment. You came into the world and dwelt among men, that he might destroy your tyranny and liberate mankind. You on the cross, you for the adverse powers. When the sun was dark and the earth quaked and the graves were opened, the bodies of saints arose. He who by death annihilated death and put an end to his dominion over death, that is you, the devil. I charge you, devil, by the power of God, who has revealed the tree of life and has arrayed the cherubim and the flaming sword, turning all directions to guard it. I charge you to be banned, you are banned to part, for I charge you by him who walked upon the surface of the sea as if it were dry land, who commanded the tempest of the wings to be calm, whose glance dries up deep abysses, and whose threat melts mountains. This very same Almighty God through us commands you now, be frightened, be gone, depart from this person, and do not return. Neither conceal yourself in her, nor seek to meet her or influence her, either by night or by day, in the morning or at noonday, but depart from here to own an infernal place until the ordained great day of judgment. If your God has been thrown upon the cherubim, it will expand the abyss of his creation. Before him all the orders of angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, the many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim, stand in fear for all. Heaven and earth and the sea and everything they contain tremble before him. Begone, depart from this newly enlisted soldier of Christ our God, for I charge you by him who rides upon the wings of the wind, who makes the very winds his messengers, the flame fire his servants. Begone, depart from this creation of God, to go with all the power and the evil spirits. For the name of God has been glorified of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. God, who is holy, awesome, and glorious, who in his almighty works is inscrutable and comprehensible, is foreordained for you, O devil, the punishment of eternal torment. He, through us, his unworthy servants, commands you and all your cohort powers to stand off from this person who has been newly sealed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our true God. I charge you, therefore, most devious, impure, vile, loathsome, and alien spirit, by the power of Jesus Christ, who has all power, both in heaven and on earth, who commanded the deaf and dumb demon to come out of the man, and to never enter again into him. Depart, acknowledge the vanity of your power, which does not have authority even over swine. Remember him who commanded you at your request to enter the herd of swine. Fear God, whose decree, whose by, who, by whose decree the earth is supported upon the waters, but who created the heavens and established the mountains with a plumb line and the valleys with a yoke, who placed the sand as a boundary for the sea and marked a safe path upon the stormy waters who touches the mountains and they smoke, who is clothed with light as with a garment, who spreads out the heaven like a tent, who set the earth on its sure foundation so that it should never be shaken, who draws the water of the sea and pours it upon the face of the whole earth. Go out and depart, O devil, from her who is being prepared for holy baptism. I charge you by the redeeming passion of our Lord Jesus Christ and by his precious body and blood and by his awesome, awesome second coming. For he shall come upon the clouds, he shall indeed come and not tarry to judge the whole earth, and he will condemn you, O devil, and all your cohorts to the Gehenna of fire, leaving you in utter darkness where the devouring worm and the fire of torment never cease. For all the power belongs to Christ our God, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. 
let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God of the heavenly host of angels, God of Israel, who heals every disease and infirmity, look down upon your servant. Call out, stretch out, and banish from her every operation of the devil. Rebuke and banish the evil spirits and purify this person whom you have created by using your great might to quickly destroy Satan under her feet. Grant her victory over Satan as evil spirits that have received mercy from you. She be made worthy to partake of your mortal heavenly mysteries and to sing praises of glory to you, O God. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, you are the true being who created man according to your image and likeness and who endowed him to have eternal life. Yet after his fall through sin, you did not despise your fallen creation, but provided through the incarnation of your Christ for the salvation of the whole world. O God, deliver also this creation of yours from the bondage of the enemy. Receive her into your heavenly kingdom. Open the eyes of her understanding that the light of your gospel may shine brightly in her. Yoke to her life an angel of light to deliver her from every attack of the adversary from evil encounters, from the noonday demon, and from evil imaginations. Expel from her every even unclean spirit which may be hiding and lurking in her heart. Amen. Amen. Expel from her every even unclean spirit which may be hiding and lurking in her heart. Amen. Expel the spirit of delusion, the spirit of deceit, the spirit of idolatry and every kind of greed, the spirit of falsehood and every devious operation according to the prompting of the devil. And make her, O oh God, to be a reason and doubt sheep of the holy flock of your Christ, an honorable member of your body, the church, a consecrated vessel, a daughter of light and heir of your kingdom. By living according to your commandments, preserving the seal of allegiance unbroken and keeping the garment of righteousness undefiled, she may attain to the blessedness of the saints in your kingdom. Through the grace, compassion, love for mankind of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together, holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Do you renounce Satan, all his works, all his angels, all his worship, and all his pride? Do you renounce Satan, all his works, all his angels, all his worship, and all his pride? Do you renounce, him. Do you renounce Satan, all his works, all his angels, all his worship, and all his pride? Do you renounce him. Have you renounced Satan? I have, renounced him. have you renounced Satan? I have, renounced have you renounced him. Satan? I have renounced him. Then breathe and spit upon him. Do you unite yourself to Christ? Do you unite myself to Christ? Do you unite yourself to Christ? I do unite myself to Christ. Do you unite yourself to Christ? I do unite myself to Christ. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Do you believe in Christ? I believe in Christ as my Lord and my God. One God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures, and he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Have you united yourself to Christ? Then bow and worship him. I bow 
one worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the undivided and consubstantial Holy Trinity. Blessed is God who desires that all be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our God, call this your servant Athena to your holy illumination and make her worthy to receive this great and gracious gift of your holy baptism. Remove from her the old self and renew her into life eternal. Fill her with the power of your Holy Spirit and unite her with your Christ that she may no longer be a child of the body but a child of your kingdom. Through the goodwill and grace of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good in life, creating spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. As you were baptized in the Jordan, O Lord, then the worship of the Trinity became manifest. For the voice of the Father bore witness to you, naming you the beloved Son and the Spirit in the form of a dove confirmed the certainty of the word of Christ God, who appeared and illumined the world. Glory to you. And your only baptism and Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Alexios, the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. That this water may be sanctified, to the descent, the power, and the operation of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That the grace of redemption and the blessing of the Jordan River may be sent upon this water. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
that the purifying energy of the Supreme Central Holy Trinity may be sent down upon this water. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be enlightened by the light of knowledge and piety through the descent of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let this water become effectual, inverting every attack from visible and invisible enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That she who is being who is to be baptized in this water may be worthy of the incorruptible kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For her who is now approached to receive holy baptism and for her salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That she may prove herself a daughter of light and inheritor of eternal good things, let us pray to the Lord. Yeah. That she may be planted together with and be partaker of the death and resurrection of Christ our God, let us pray to the Lord. That she may protect and keep the garment of baptism in the engagement of the Holy Spirit, spotless and undefiled, until the awesome day of Christ our God, let us pray to the Lord. that this water be made for her a bath of regeneration and the remission of sins and a garment of incorruption. Let us pray to the Lord. That the Lord God may hear the voice of our prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. For her and our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy in us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious most Lady, the Theodorus, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Lord God, you are great and your works are marvelous. No word will suffice to praise your wonder. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Mega sikiria kethav mastat ergasu. Keodis logos exarkesi prosimnon ton thavmasion su. Lord God, you are great and your works are marvelous. No word will suffice to praise your wonder. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. For you, O Lord, will to bring into being all things which before did not exist. You govern the world by your providence. You have harmoniously joined together all creation out of four basic elements and have crowned the cycle of the year with four seasons. All angelic heavenly powers tremble before you. The sun praises you, the moon glorifies you, the stars stand and serve before you, the light obeys you, the abysses fear you, and the springs serve you. You have stretched out the heavens like a tent, you have founded the earth upon the waters, you have bounded the sea with sand, you have poured out the air for breathing. The angelic powers minister to you, the choirs of archangels adore you, the many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim, as they stand around and fly about, veil themselves, before your inapproachable glory. For you, O Lord, being God uncircumscribed without beginning and inexpressible, came to earth and received the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. Because of your compassion and mercy and love, you could not bear to see mankind oppressed by the devil, and you came and saved us. We confess your grace, we proclaim your mercy, we conceal not your goodness. You have liberated mankind of our mortal nature. By your birth, O Christ, you have sanctified a virgin womb all creation magnified you when you appeared. For you, are God, were seen upon the earth, and you dwelt among men. You sanctified the waters of the Jordan River when you sent your Holy Spirit upon it and crushed the heads of those demons lurking therein. Therefore, o Lord, sovereign Lord, you who love mankind, come also now through the descent of your Holy Spirit 
and sanctify this water. Aftos un filant ve vasilev parasukin in the atis epiphitisis to aye suplev matos, ke aye son to either tuto. Therefore, o sovereign Lord who loved mankind, come also now through the descent of your Holy Spirit and sanctify this water. Give to this water the grace of redemption, the blessing of the Jordan. Make it a source of incorruption, a gift of sanctification, the eradication of sins. Make it to be unassailable to all hostile powers, the elation of demons, and filled with divine power. That those who seek to harm this creature, O God, flee far from this water. For I have called upon your name, O Lord, which is marvelous and glorious and fearful to adversaries. Let all adverse powers be crushed beneath the sign of the image of your holy cross. Sidri vito sani potinsi mio sin du dip di miu stavrusu pas in ambie dinamis. Let all adverse powers be crushed beneath the sign of the image of your holy cross. We pray to you, O Lord, that all unseen demons may withdraw from us from this water. Let no evil spirit descend into this water, together with her who is about to be baptized and cause her delusion of thoughts and disturbance of emotions. But rather we pray that you, O God and Master of all, manifest this water to be water of redemption, water of sanctification, water of purification of body and soul. Let this water be relief from bondage, forgiveness of sins, light to the soul, a labor of regeneration, a renewal of spirit, the gift of adoption, the garment of incorruption, the source of new life. You yourself have said, O Lord, wash and be clean, remove from your souls evil things. For you, Lord, have bestowed upon us a new birth of life from above through water and the Spirit. Lord, manifest this water and grant that she who is to be baptized therein may be transformed by putting away the old self that is corruptible according to the desires of delusion, by putting on the new life that is ever renewed according to the image of the Creator. May she be planted through baptism in the likes of your death, O Lord, that she may also partake of your holy resurrection. May she also, by, hold, by keeping the gift of the Holy Spirit, by increasing the grace committed to her, receive the reward of her divine calling to be numbered among, among the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven, you are God and our Lord Jesus Christ. For to you be all glory, dominion, honor, and worship, together with your Father is our beginning, your holy good and life creating spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Lord God of our fathers, you did send to those who were in the ark with Noah, the dove, with a twig of an olive tree, it's, in its beak is a token of peace and salvation from the flood, and thereby foreshadowed the mystery of grace. You have also provided the fruit of the olive tree to serve in the fulfillment of your holy mysteries and to fulfill those who are under the law and make perfect those under grace. Come now, the same Lord, and bless also this oil with the power, energy, and descent of your Holy Spirit, and make it to be an oil of uh, anointment of incorruption, an armor of righteousness, a renewal of body and soul, an aversion to all demonic assaults, a deliverance from all types of evil for all those who shall be anointed with it or who shall partake of it. Unto your glory and the glory of your only begotten Son and your all holy good in life creating spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive. Amen. Let us be attentive. This can be right next to me, right, Marka? We'll have to uncover a little bit, but I won't take him yet. Okay, you hold on. The servant of God, Athena, is anointed with the oil of joy and gladness in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen. for the healing of body and soul, Amen. for the hearing of the faith. Amen. Your hands have made me, O Lord, and they have fashioned me. Amen. For the walking in your commandments. Amen. Okay, you can let that drip in. And when I get her, I'm going to rub them all out. Okay, head to toe. You can take her diaper off now. Oh. <laughs> okay, no, 
I'll start from head to go all the way down head to toe, down your arms and back and chest and legs. Use the back of your hand if you can a little bit without scratching it. <laughs> okay, all right. And then turn to Elias and put your arms straight out. There you go. And turn back this way. Oop. <laughs> and come over here a little bit toward me. Yeah, take a couple steps. Yeah. The handmaid of God, Athena, is baptized in the name of the Father Amen. and the Son. Amen. And the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God Almighty, the source of all good things, the Son of righteousness, bring light of salvation to those in darkness, to the appearance of your only begotten Son, our God. You have given to us, unworthy as we are, the blessed purification of holy baptism, divine sanctification of holy chrismation, and gracious to regenerate also your newly illumined servant by water and the Spirit, and to grant her forgiveness of voluntary and voluntary sins. Grant also to her a compassionate King of Kings, the seal of the gift your almighty adored Holy Spirit, and the communion of your holy body and precious blood of your Christ. <clears throat> keep, him, keep her in your sanctification. Confirm her in the orthodox faith. Deliver her from the devil and all his evil machinations. Through the salutary fear of God, preserve her soul <clears throat> in purity and righteousness, that she may please you both in word and deed, become a daughter and heir of your heavenly kingdom. Pure God, the God who is merciful and loves mankind, you send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. I mean, I mean, the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. I mean, the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. I mean. Blessed is God who illumines and sanctifies everyone who comes into the world, always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our God, you've honored man with your own image by creating with him a beautiful body and a rational soul that is served by the body. You have placed the highest point of his body, the head of man, and have arranged that most of the vital senses function there without obstructing each other. You also covered the head <clears throat> with hair for beauty and for the protection of the elements. You have indeed joined together all the members of the human body in a useful and harmonious manner, so that for all of them, man may be grateful to you, O Lord, who are the Creator. Through your chosen vessel, St. Paul the Apostle, Lord, you have commanded us to all things in your glory. Your servant, Athena, has come to begin the cut of the hair of her head and thus make her very first offering. Bless her, O Lord, together with her sponsor, and grant that they will mediate all the requirements of the law do those things which are pleasing to you. For merciful God, who loves mankind, we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Lord our God, out of the fullness of baptismal font, you have sanctified with your goodness those who believe in you. Bless this newly baptized person, let your heavenly blessing come upon her head. As you bless King David by the hand of your prophet Samuel, bless also the head of this your servant Athena by my hand, who am a sinner. Send down upon her your Holy Spirit, that she may grow in body and spirit and attain the gray hairs of old age, ever glorifying your name and enjoying the blessings of Jerusalem all the days of her life. For to you be all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The handmaid of God, Athena, is tonsured and makes her first offering to Christ our God in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. You alone. She who is clothed by you, O Christ our God, bows now her head together with us and you, O Lord. Protect her to remain an invincible warrior in every attack of evil against her and us. And make us all, Lord, to victorious to the end and to receive your incorruptible crown of victory. It's your pleasure to have mercy to save us. And we offer up glory with your fathers all beginning, your holy good and life creating spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. You have become righteous, you are illumined, you have been baptized, you are illumined, you have been anointed with the Holy Spirit, you are sanctified, and now you are washed. In the name of the Father, Amen. and the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A robe of divine light bestow upon me. Almost merciful the handmaid of God is Athena's garment, the garment of righteousness and purity in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Whoever should come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then you're going to take a minute to get dressed and come back with your pants and your shoes. And now you're going to stay here and wash your hands. Okay. Take a great big breath and come back. 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 Επεύρους διαγράψας το αίτη των όπλων Διο Χριστό ασώμεν το Θεό ημών ότι δε δόξαστε Δε ώρα βάρον εισήν as a typifying the mystery For it bothered them thus was the preselected now in the church that was barren once, the cross of Christ like a tree has blossomed forth as power and the firm support. This aitiko aitirie, this economia su to mysterion, katenoi sata erga su, Three of the cross, you are thrice blessed. For Jesus Christ, who is the King and Lord, was crucified on you. Through you fallen is the one who by a tree deceives us. For he was lured by God, who in the flesh indeed was hung the nail to you, and who groans to our souls his peace. Notiu tiros ent flacnis, alamas ionas tavroidos diekmetasas, tosotirion pathos prodietipus afos, Othen trimeros eglis, din hipercosmion arastas in mi pezografise, tus archi prospagendos Christu tu Theu, ke trimero egersi tom cosmo fotisandos. The impious tyrant's preposterous decree disturbed the populace, breathing threats and blasphemous pronouncements hateful to God. His brutal anger did not intimidate the three servants, nor did the consuming fire. But when the dew-laden breeze whistled against the fire, they joined it and together sung, Blessed are you, O Lord, you are highly praised, O God, the God of our fathers. 
ενούμεν ευλογούμεν και προσκυνούμεν των γύριων, ευλογείτε παιδες, της τριάδος εις αριθμή, δημιούργων Πατέρα Θεών, υμνείτε των συγκαταβάντα λόγων και το πυρίς ρώσον μεταπίσαντα, και υπερυψούτε το πάση ζωήν παρέχον, Πνεύμα Παναγίων εις τους αιώνας. Θεοτόκος, you are mystical paradise, for without husbandry you have blossomed Christ, by whom on earth the cross as a life-bearing tree has been planted and watered, as it is now exalted. We adore Him, and we worship Him, and magnify You. Moses prefigured the cross, lifting up the rod, he stretched up his hand, and split the sea for Israel to cross on land. Then he stretched it out again, and the sea returned and covered Pharaoh's chariots. The cross was thus portrayed as our invincible armor. So let us sing to the Lord Christ our God, for he is greatly glorified. Ravda sisti bon tu mysteriu para la vonete, to vlastogar procrini toni erea. Isti revusi de proin ecclesian in exiltise, silon stavru tis kratos kestereoma. I have heard the report, O Lord, of your incarnation, which is a mystery. I consider your astounding works, and I glorified your divinity. O tris makaris toxilon, en o etathi Christos o vasileps ke kyrios, viu pepto ke noxilo apatisas, το εσύ δε λεαστής, Θεό το προσπαγέντη σαρκή, το παρέχοντη την ειρήνην τες ψυχές ημών. In the belly of the sea beast, the prophet Jonah prayed with his arm extended crosswise, thus he clearly prefigured the saving passion of Christ, when after three days he emerged, he was depicting the supernal resurrection from the dead of Christ God, who was physically nailed to the cross, and by his third day arising illumined the universe. Ek non prostagma tyrannu visevus, laos eklonis et neon apilis kevis pimias teos timus. Homos nis pedas, uk edimatos et timos tyriodin supirromion. Alandi hundi droso volo pneumati, tirisinon de sepsalon, o hiperimitos, combateron ke imon, teos evlogitos i. Oh, man. 
those who have been baptized in Christ have put on Christ. Alleluia. Let us be attentive. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the protector of my life. Wisdom. The reading is from the epistle of St. Paul to the Romans. Let us be attentive. Brethren, all who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old soul was crucified with him so that the sinful body might be destroyed, and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For he who has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. For we know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once and for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin. And alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. At that time, the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. 
Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord. <coughs> Glory to you. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation of your servant, Athena, the newly baptized Christian, the sponsor, the parents, the relatives, and all those who gathered here to take part in this holy mystery. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. For the servant of God, that now receives the body and blood of the Lord and the Savior, Jesus Christ, for his and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to your God and our hope, O Lord. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Master, give the blessing. May he who condescended to be baptized in the Jordan River for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy of the apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he's good and he loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. You can go, ahead, go back to your seat for a moment. Stay right here. Guys, you come over here, please. You can stay. They're going to come here and you can face them that way. This face, uh, the God. Yeah, you can have your daughter. And you're going to repeat after me, please. I give you your child. I give you your child. Baptized and chrismated. Baptized and chrismated. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the, Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Congratulate each other. Thank you, Father. So we welcome Afina into the Holy Orthodox Church. We will ask uh, everyone uh, who is not staying for a picture or two to please go ahead and exit the glass door this way and go directly to